Hello and welcome back to Let's Play a Clash of Kings with me, the Canarian, and with Kunar Vasil. Now, um, let's go. Let's go to uh, Marshdown, see if we can hire. Actually, wait a second. No, 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 don't go that way. Let's upgrade. See, now, all of these guys, they have that fight, they've gained a lot of experience. They are, they can be upgraded. We can spend seven dinars to upgrade all of them. And now they, they cost one dinar, okay? Each of these to maintain. These guys cost 15 dinars each to maintain. Look at them, they're so much better though. But they cost 15 dinars to maintain. They, they realize that they're worth a lot more now that they actually know how to fight. Um, so we are gonna need to get you know a lot of money to maintain this kind of army. Now, Lasseni Skirmishers, again, one dinar to maintain. Upgrade them to the veteran Lasseni Skirmishers. Now, these guys are really cool, by the way. Uh, they are really cool. I think they get a shield now as well. Um, seven dinars, they don't cost as much as the pikemen to maintain. So it might even be better to try and build up an army of them, rather, at some point. And I do like the way they look. They look pretty cool. So let's rename these guys to Pikemen. As in this, this group. And let's rename this group to Skirmishers. Okay, so we've got Skirmishers and Pikemen. Marvellous. Uh, they've got Weekly Wage. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, so basically, these guys are the real reason why we... We, we need a lot of money. Um, right, okay, let's upgrade us. I'm going to be putting my attributes into strength until we get to strength 14, because that's needed for quite a few things, especially heavier armor and heavier weaponry. Um, and we're really close to next level, which is really good. So let's upgrade. Uh, what shall we upgrade? Uh, let's upgrade our... Well, it's difficult, it's difficult choosing. See, I'm looking, at lo I'm looking at looting because then we could get more loot, which is more items, which is more sales, which is means more income to manage our army. But then I could also get, um, I could get surgery, which would mean that the dudes that were killed have a chance of not being killed. Uh, can't get pathfinding. I need to increase my intelligence at some point to get that sorted. Um, okay, let's go with let's go with looting so that we can get more money, shall we? Yep. And let's increase our skill with pole arms and one-handed weapons. There we go. So we're leveled up. Uh, let's go to Marshdown see if we can hire a few more, a few more pikemen to relentless uh, the stock we lost. Yeah, that's exactly how many we lost. That's perfect. And we go to Mallow Mir, and then we'll go straight to Mir. And yeah, this is all really good. We're at seventy percent health. We're, we'll heal slowly but surely. Right, I'm going to have a sip from my drink just while we go to Malamir. Mm -mm. That was a good battle. I did enjoy that. That was very fun. Um, I do I do love uh, just seeing your troops perform amazingly. Of course, we are definitely probably going to be going into... I mean, the only logical fights you should really be going into are fights you're going to win, unless you really need to go into a fight that's uh, a little bit uncertain. Okay, so let's sell some of this stuff. Right, you have enough money to buy all of my shit. I need that much stuff back. Marvellous. And my arms, bent arrows. Yeah, this stuff isn't worth that much to them. But I have 589 stuffs now. So that's good. I'm good with that. Right, okay, so. No, no, I don't want to walk around the streets, but I guess we're going to anyway. But yeah, you can actually walk around these uh, cities. Like, this is Mir. We're not going to do that right now. Um, and I know, I'm, I'm trying to click, click, click to go into the tavern, but I'll quickly show you the arena so you get an idea. We could quickly have a go at this. So basically, yeah, yeah click through, and now we're going to just fight with our own weapons. And maybe try and gain some money. Basically, if I kill five dudes, I'll gain five coins. The more dudes I kill, the more money I'll gain. I'm being terrible in this fight right now. Oh, wait. Not too bad. Ah, shit. Yeah. We aren't going to be able to do much against guys like, like that. Anyway, in this, in this game particularly, yeah, we'll talk to him. Go. Um, in in this mod particularly, 
heavily armored dudes are really tough to kill. Um, best way to kill them is with maces. Who are you, and why do I want to know? Uh, I am. He's an engineer. He's from Bravos. Uh. Hmm. Where do you need to go, Kohor, eventually? Hmm. Uh, I'm not gonna take him just because I don't want to, I don't want to have him hanging about. Yeah, let's. I want to get through this. So there we go. So the, I don't have to have that conversation next time we come in when we want to slay sell slaves. Uh, well, I mean uh, prisoners to the ransom broker. Okay, so there's no one interesting in the tavern that I want to take. We sold all our resources, and now I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get some horsemen. So let's travel all the way over to. Uh, Wait a second, how am I? One thing that you really should remember, okay, I can actually fight. Um, auto battles, never do auto battles. Never. Auto battles are really bad. I'm gonna ignore the berries, my stomach grumbles. Well, it's better than fucking getting ill. Right, so we're going over to uh, Volantis territory. Uh, or Volantine territory. We're gonna go and get some horsemen, because that's what their basic troops are. Uh, there we are. And, <coughs> as I was saying, never auto-battle. Auto-battles never end very well. Uh, if you aren't able to fight, by the way, if your character, when you go into party, is red, you won't be able to fight, so you will have to auto-battle or retreat. If you are faced with that choice, I really do suggest retreating, because... Slavers. Yeah, let's grab a few slavers. Oh, they're, they're running from me. They They know what they're dealing with now. Again, they're running from me. Um, it might be better just to uh, have a smaller group, actually. No, let, let, let's go to Volantis and pick up some dudes. Then we can fight the larger groups. Maybe even try some battles at CA. Right. Um, again, all of these guys start off shit, but they get really good really quickly. So let's recruit some present, uh, presents, peasants, and keep on going. It's from Cedarwood, Roses Hollow. Pinchfire, Turtle Hill, Waydale, all of these places. Well, we're, we're just going to go down this coast to begin with, so we'll probably go there, there, Turtle Hill, and then come back around here. Again, we've only got one, so not not that many. It'll be useful to have a cavalry force, you know, to try and mop up their cavalry if we ever need to, especially their own uh, ranged cavalry, their, their bowmen on horses. So we're going to Turtle Hill now. Come on. And after we've sorted out Turtle Hill. Cohort has declared war against Bra Bravos. So I'm going to quickly. So these dudes are fighting these dudes. Makes so much sense. Can you see the distance between them? They, I mean, they'd have to go through, uh, I believe, Pentos and Norvos and some mountains to get to each other. But hey, let's fight a war. As you do. So, we've uh, not found many things. Let's see if we can find a trade car, actually, because lots of them go to Volantis. Uh, someone we don't like, and we'll raid their trade cart for monies. Uh, obviously, we need to keep, keep near cities, keep near city trade routes. Go in between cities, maybe, see what we find. Right, farmers. Yeah, we're not going to hurt Volantis's dudes. If we do that, then we will be in uh, big trouble because Volantis is a is a big state. I don't know quite how powerful they are, but um, I think that they would logically be quite powerful. Have quite a few troops at the ready. Um, they have lots of cell sword and stuff like that. Yeah, well, I guess they I guess they would. I I think. Because they don't have m much variety amongst their own troops. 11 units of food, 3 days left. Okay. So we're going to go between these cities and see what things we can find. See if we can find anybody to raid. See if we can catch any slavers or looters off guard. Um, Akos Den. Uh, let's go to the tavern in Akos Den. See if there's anything here worth... Yeah, just a ransom broker and some citizens. 
I guess we might have to do some missions for some people. God forbid. Right, okay. I'm going to go to Baywind. We'll, we'll go into the settlement, walk up to the, you know, elder of the village, and we'll ask him if he's got anything to do. Once we've met him, we won't have to do this again, so... That's a nice little fortified village. That's quite cute. And here they are, the village elder and the hunter. So, we gained, got 150 experience, lovely. Uh, do you have any tasks? The wife? Yeah, that's the perfect kind of thing. Alright, I'll take the ransom money to the bandits and bring back the wife. Okay, marvellous. Where the hell is this? Difficult to ask. Good thing we've got notes. Uh, right, what quests are we doing? Uh, ransom wife from bandits. Notes. Ransom wife from bandits. So the other near Spice Yard. There we go. Spice Yard. There we go. So we're going to go all the way over here. And uh, we'll take the ransom to them. In other words, we will butcher the bandits. Um, no, that's a Atlantis caravan. We can't attack that. Um, and we will take everything they have. And we will bring the wife back, of course, you know. But, you know, most importantly, we're going to kill some bandits. Because, you know, the, the men need the men need something to fight. They're, they're, they're edging on for a fight. They need it. And also, I need to upgrade some of that. And have a, let's have a quick look at these dudes. I've changed that name to Lance, actually. So there we go. Valentine Lancers. They're pretty shit to begin with, as are literally all of these dudes. Uh, but they, again, become really good really quickly. Um, and really expensive really quickly as well, which is why we need to keep up the attacks and keep up the quests. As you can see there, some messages there. So, Westerlands has been defeated in a battle, clearly. Quite a few of their lords, but they've managed to escape and uh, survive. Bandits awaiting ransom. There we go. 29 bandits. It'll be a tough one. Um. <laughs> We're not going to pay them any money. We're going to kill them. Dudes, hold, hold. You don't charge at enemies. So, um, let's form an orderly formation. Cavalry, I would like you to stay the fuck away from the, that shit. Uh, skirmishers. Hmm, this isn't the best place. Cavalry, you go over here as well. So this is going to be a better place to fight. Just because we have a hill behind us. And the skirmishers can go up on there. And on top of that... Um, yep, stumble and falling. I shouldn't have walked backwards. Silly me. Okay, so... Pikemen. Let's get you forming ranks. Ranks down here. Um, What else? And skirmishers. Yeah, you just... Do your thing. I'm gonna get you to move a little bit more center to the formation. Cavalry. You guys. Yeah, I'm gonna keep you guys off to the right. Just so if I need you to sweep in, you can. See, see, some of them have spears, some of them have clubs. However, when they level up, they will definitely just have spears, and that will make them much better. And they will be more armored. So where are they? There they are. See them appearing over the hill now, they're silhouettes. So there's a lot of them, there's 29, and uh, there's a lot more of us. Well, not that much more of us, to be honest. But look at these guys. Look at them in their red armor. Aren't they fucking awesome? They are going to slaughter these bandits. They're going to learn why people fear the name Kunar Valis. And there, there we go, the javelins, skirmishers. Yeah, two of them down. Charge! Go on, crush them. And I think we can get the cavalry to charge in now as well. So the cavalry's gonna come in and support our troops. There we go. Let, let's, let's, oh, let's try and save that cavalryman. 
Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Actually, get these dudes. Seriously, though, don't all chase him. Okay, so they're all going to go and chase him. Yeah, we killed him. Marvellous. They're all going to chase that one dude down. And, yeah, we won. Fucking stumbling and falling. Look at these dudes though. They look so awesome in their red armor. We need better armor. We are letting the side down here. We don't look as fancy as these dudes. They don't have the cool hairstyle though, do they? So I guess I guess they don't even have the beard. We are we are rocking the face. We just need more clothing to make us look snazzy. So that was awesome. We lost one Mirish pikeman. It wasn't even a veteran. We just slaughtered them. Oh, okay. Thank you, phone. I know you want to be involved in all my videos, but, you know, come on. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That face. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. Thank you for so much. Will you take me back to my village now? Yes, come with me. We're going home. And we get to capture a bandit. We can sell him. He's not going to be worth much. I mean, he'd probably be worth, what, maybe 50. But look at all this. Look at all this. We could take a cat, can't we? Yeah. Um, there we go. We've got a cap now. Still, we look pretty shit. But it's better than nothing. And all this, we can sell. And that will massively improve our income. And that will massively improve our ability to maintain this massive force we have. Um, let's quickly pop over to Spice Yard. See if there's anybody there who wants to join us. <sighs> Always click the top thing. So no one here is... Uh, ready to be recruited. Let's go to list and sell some of our goods just before we pop off. So to the marketplace, armor. Yeah, we really don't need most of this stuff. I've got a ragged heavy cap, have I? It's one of these uh, ragged, tattered, yeah. Well, they're bandits, what do you expect? Oh, they don't have enough money to pay me for all this. Um, yeah, so we leave them with two coins, marvelous. Okay, so, actually, wait a second. Arms, dude, we can sell you stuff. They don't have much money here. That's sad. I'd love to sell all my stuff in one place and get it all out of the way. So there we go, sorted. We've made plenty of money there. And what we'll do is we'll quickly pop like Aqua Stain, just before we go back, sell some of our stuff there. So so we've, we've, rescued, the, uh, we've rescued the Miller's wife, that's fantastic. And we've killed a load of bandits, which is awesome. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to just go around doing some damage. We, who knows? We might even be sneaky. Pop over to Westeros at some point and raid a few villages and then run back here. That's the best way to deal with life, isn't it? Anyway, um, I'm going to have a swig. Probably got how many minutes we've got left? One and a half minutes. Let's uh, get some stuff out of the way. Let's make sure we get the wife there. And then uh, we'll probably end the episode there as we go off in a new direction to try and build up our force even more. Oh, I just forgot. We'll do this um, after we pop into Aquos Den. So farmers. There's a Tyrosh caravan. There's slavers over there. We could go and see. Oh, a, a tournament. I'm going to end this short, okay? I'm going to quickly just leave. Okay, uh, we'll do what I was going to do in a sec. We're going to level everyone up. So these guys are going to be upgraded to uh, elite Murray's Pikeman. Look how cool they look now. I uh, do be honest, I do prefer the kind of redness of this and the kind of awesomeness and the bigness. But these dudes, they, they're pretty snazzy. Got the Miller's wife. Okay. Um, and we're going to upgrade these to proper Valentine Lancers. Look at them. And they are all Lancers now. Upgrade these to real Pikeman. And upgrade these to real skirmishers. Elite Lysenny skirmishers. Look at that shield. That is a big hoplon, that is. Right, and they cost loads of money. 36 dinars. These guys cost 25 dinars to maintain. And the elite Moorish pikemen. 26, actually. Not too bad. They cost less than both of these dudes. I think an army of elite Lysenny skirmishers would probably actually be really good. Anyway, um, I'll upgrade myself. Yep, there we've got our final strength thing I wanted to get. Um, and I guess we'll get power strike, so I'm really, really dangerous. Uh, upgrade my pole arms a bit as well. So, 
Next time, we're going to take part in the Melia Akos Den in the tournament, see how far we can get. Um, and then we're going to drop off the Miller's Wife, go hunt down some slavers probably, maybe raid some Westerosi villages. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, leave a like or a comment. Also, share this video to help out the series and the channel. And subscribe if you don't want to miss an episode. And if you want to see more of my videos. And have fun, and I'll see you next time.